Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of On The Paint Table. This is my weekly show about what I got done, what I'm working on, and what is coming up. Um, so this time I dove into the Human Interface uh, Cyberpunk board game and got enough stuff painted so I could try out the first few missions. Basically there's a sort of like a prologue of three missions and I painted up all the models to play with that. So. Uh, and actually then got excited about painting Cyberpunk Manager and painted a few more too. Uh, I also painted some terrain, got to work on a new Necromunda gang, uh, went dim like basically bits box diving for some more pieces for my current Necromunda gang, um, and then I uh, did a little bit of work on my Go Trick model for um, Warhammer Age of Sigmar. I also have a few new uh, odds and ends here to show you guys stuff I'm working on, so let's take a look at what's done and what is coming up. So first things first, here is um, my sort of like first three missions worth of models for Human Interface, the cyberpunk board game. Um, we have the Borg squad here. This is uh, Len.ka. We have Morgan, uh, U-Bolt, and then a Bombshell. And their big friend, Tin Can, who's wearing like a huge, va like basically a, a fully uh, augmented cyberpunk, or cyber, I guess, cybernetic body. He's like a big giant walking tank. Um, I also painted one of the Kickstarter miniatures just to show off. Uh, this is the big cybernetic tin boy um, Sumo. He's like, I think his name's Akata, and he's a really cool big robot that I just painted because I wanted to. <laughs> After I was done everything else, I painted two of the Tankins, which are little remote drones, um, and then four consoles that come in the Kickstarter edition as well. Uh, then I painted up three Shapus, who are sort of like Chappies. They're like, um, or they look like the police robots actually from, uh, what was that, that other movie? Uh, Elysium. Elysium, yeah. They're like the chappy robots from Elysium. Uh, the Black Side Agent, who is... You get eight of each of these in the box. You only really need one for the first three missions. He's got like a sidearm and a cybernetic arm. Um, and then these guys who are tactical officers and are just like generic grunt dudes with... Um, bullpup rifles and some like heavy armor. Uh, and that's enough for the, the beginning of the missions. You only actually need... For the first few missions, the four main Borg characters, the Borg Squad characters there. Uh, tin Can shows up later, and then the three Shapus, the Black Side Agent, the two Tankins, and the um, the uh, Tactical Officers. And yeah, I got enough stuff to, to play through the game. We played the first three missions. The uh, game was fun. You'll see that in two weeks, actually, uh, the Let's Play. And then um, there's like a 1.5 Let's Play that takes us through the third mission. And I'm going to do a sort of like separate second Let's Play for the Skirmish Mode, which is the head-to-head -head version of this game, not the cooperative or solo dungeon crawler. Um, but the models are super fun, and uh, obviously I can also play um, any on any number of other Cyberpunk games with this, so this will probably be my Reality's Edge gang when I get started with that. Uh, I got a buddy right now painting some stuff for Reality's Edge, and of course you need, you need consoles for that too, so all this stuff seemed appropriate um, and, and timely basically, and you'll see some stuff coming up too for just, for just models from the Kickstarter edition that I was excited about that I wanted to paint too. Uh, then I painted a bunch of terrain. This is from Gabble uh, Grabble, Grabble Cast. <laughs> <laughs> You'll see more about this tomorrow, um, but it's a really cool dungeon train set. Well, actually, that's a caves train set, and I painted up. You could paint it as lava or like some kind of like glowing goo. But I did it as like a sulfur cave, so it's all like a sulfurous kind of color, swampy kind of sulfurous color. I got lots of stalactites, stalagmites. I did some glowing mushrooms on everything, and some cool um, uh, crystals as well. And then you get a treasure chest and some eggs. So we'll talk more about that tomorrow on Witches Wonders. But there is what got done. That's another. Oh geez, 5, 10, 15, 20 pieces of terrain, 21 pieces of terrain, and then miniatures wise, I painted another 8, um, 16, 23, so I'm at like 663, 5, 6, 663, something like that, getting up on 700. And here's some stuff coming up, uh, we've almost finished the first cycle of uh, Necromunda, so I'm thinking about starting another gang, uh, and I got a, for our last game in the, the first cycle, like basically it's like six games long, um, between me and Chris from uh, Way of the Brush, I needed to get some juvies, so I went and did Bits Box Dive. Uh, I'd actually gotten these from my buddy Victor, Victor Toth, uh, ages ago, and not yet painted them up, but now I've actually recruited some. And they look awesome, like, I'm, I don't care, these old, uh, I think, Gary Morley? They might be Gary Morley, they might be Perry Twins, I'm actually not sure. They might be Gary Morley. Anyway, <laughs> they, uh, I know Morley did a lot of the old um, Goliaths, actually, for this game. Uh, they're, they fit perfectly well with the new ones. I'm just going to put them on some new modern. I'm going to put them on the same deck plating bases uh, and then just clean them off and prime them. But I found them this week, so I figured I'd show them off. Uh, and I almost finished. I had to do a shield up, uh, my gang leader, for my Vansars. This will be my new gang. 
uh, or my Chaos Cult. I can't decide. <laughs> I'm just going to paint two gangs and then, then flip to see which one I want to play. Oh, Chris might do Vansars as well, so I might just paint these for fun. Uh, but I finished up a Plasma Gun, a... Uh, was it a rad rifle? No, but a cog rifle, a bunch of like the cool Laz pistols. Um, yeah, no, it's rad rifle, plasma gun, because those are my two champions, and then two guys with the Laz guns, and uh, some gunfighter guy, and the leader for my starting thousand creds. Uh, then over here, this is some more stuff from the Kickstarter edition. I really want to paint this guy. He's actually not a Borg Squad member, uh, which is like the faction um, that comes in the star set. Uh, you get the Black Sight and the Borg, the Borg Squad. He's like a, I think he's the only model from his faction right now. He's like a commando. But he's basically Briarios <laughs> from Appleseed. And that is one of the few things, and not talking about the movie, I'm talking about the comics. One of the few comics, um, uh, mangas that I read when I was, uh, when I was young, when I was a teenager, because it's, all the Shira stuff is like, that's my, that's my, that's my time, that's my time when I was reading comic books as a kid. Uh, and then a bunch of, uh, other, other like cool cyberpunk minis too that I just really liked. And this is another Borg Squad member. I love Big Kid, because <laughs> she's a hacker, but she's got like, a like stuffed like, kitty and a kitty hoodie and then like uses like big cybernetic arms so just an awesome miniature and then this dude has like a full cybernetic conversion has like a cybernetic head and just is but is dressed like kind of like um just in street clothes which i thought was cool just like jeans and like a hoodie so i don't really like these and then i love these big turtle police officers uh they're not used in the campaign right now but they'll be awesome for like reality sets or whatever they're just they're wearing like a heavy riot armor and i just love the miniature so i wanted to paint them up too so yeah, there we go. This is just cool, cool cyberpunk stuff to keep my cyberpunk painting going and uh, have some stuff ready to check out Reality's Edge when uh, my buddy Chris finishes painting his stuff too. And I just got Godric built and like base coated, not even base coated, just airbrush primed and started throwing some base coats down on him too. He's a huge miniature for being a dwarf slayer, which I think is awesome and appropriate because he's 550 points. Any order army can take him as an ally and he just shows up and starts murking stuff with his like unkillableness. Uh, and then finally, I wanted to actually put some paint because I'm doing this um, this underground cave system. I'm going to put some paint on the uh, awesome Bobby Jackson adventuring party for Wildlands. Because we've got some new Wildlands maps to check out. And I'm going to try and paint these guys. I actually want to paint some factions, I think, for Wildlands. And um, try out the new boards and stuff for the expansions. Well, last but not least, I got some awesome new gels from Huge Miniatures to check out. These are uh, like a texture paint almost. So there's a snow a basalt which is like a almost like an asphalt and then a martian one too um and i've used lots of these from different companies from vallejo and stuff but i'm really excited to check this one out this is uh sort of like a martian dust they're not weathering pigments they're more like a, a basing material that you can paint on so i'm gonna try these out i think probably the basalt one i might try on the cyberpunk guys the snow one i'm gonna try on my next um couple song of ice and fire folks and then the martian one i might try it on um some of my Mechanicus stuff for 40k. But I'm really excited to check these out. They're brand new. Uh, they're just about to come up from Huge Minis. And I love all of Huge Minis, um, like grass and uh, tufts and stuff they've done so far. So I'm pretty stoked to give these a try. And that looks like the stuff that's coming up for next week. All right, so there you go. Another, oh, what, I did the count. I've completely forgotten it. It was eight uh, plus six is 14, 15, 16, 17, 21. 21 miniatures and 21 pieces of terrain done for this week. So uh, yeah, we're, at, we're sitting at... 660 almost 700 getting close to 700 uh with lots of stuff to do and lots of stuff on the go and lots more projects coming up so we'll see you for more on the paint table next week you can tune in tomorrow for widgets and wonders and find out more about these awesome gravel cast rocks until then i'm ash i hope you enjoyed that video if you uh want to support the channel of course like and subscribe and hit the little bell below to get notifications and when i post future content i do post stuff seven days a week uh if you want to support the channel um further you can of course buy a t-shirt through Spreadshirts, um buy a measuring gauge or objective markers from desperate designs um or of course most importantly there is patreon patreon is what makes all this possible uh keeps the lights on pays for the studio costs pays for the equipment model costs and everything else and most importantly um puts food in my kids bellies and a roof over their heads uh, uh, big thanks to everyone past future who supported me uh, i do this stuff because of you guys and of course i will continue doing it as long as i can